Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Today I am coming to you with something super, super exciting and I gotta say I have gotten a little carried away. So it is this, yes, another Chanel. I have not opened it, so this is gonna be a true unboxing. I will tell you this is probably gonna be it for the year, but Let's go ahead and get into it. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Isabel. I hope that you enjoy this video. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button down below and click the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, let's dive right into it, my friends. All right, I've gone ahead and moved the camera so that you could have a better view. And of course, packaged as always, very, very beautifully. Again, all of these purchases come from Nordstrom. That is where I have an essay, beautiful camellia, a ribbon, And our box. So pretty. Let's see if I can do this without killing it. You know I'm not great at it. Maybe I can get it out. Oh, let's see. Success! <laughs> Here we go. <gasps> I can get a peek. All right, let me just, let me just, oh my. Here we go. We've got the dust bag. The Chanel care booklet the very pretty Chanel paper to reveal. Oh, boy. Yes, the cocoa handle. <gasps> Let me take this off. Here she is. The, oh, she is so, so pretty. So this is the Coco handle in the medium size from the 20K collection. Here's the, I'll put the information down below. It's got gold hardware. Here's the strap and this is the handle, it's so pretty. It's kind of emulating the lizard or the exotics, but of course it is not, it is leather since Chanel is no longer doing exotics. It's got the plastic on there still. And the back has the Mona Lisa pocket. Now, if you've been watching me, you know that I unboxed very, very recently the burgundy one that's up there. I'm not sure if you could see it right up there. And I've got to tell you, I fell in love. The bag has got to be one of the most comfortable, useful bags that Chanel has. And when I saw on the purse forum that this color was coming out, I, I texted my essay and I said, I want you to put me on the list right away. I wasn't really sure what the beige color was going to be like, what the shade of the beige was going to be, but... Now that I'm looking at it, it's just really, really perfect. It is a light beige, and it kind of changes in the light. So it looks a little darker, it looks a little lighter, but it is a really, really neutral color. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. I am just so excited. Of course, it's got the turnkey lock right here. And let's take this off. And I'm sorry, I'm still stuffy. I can barely breathe. The inside has uh, two compartments uh, like the cocoa handles do. The first compartment is a little larger 
and let me just take this off. It's really stuffed. Okay. Here it is on the inside. The first compartment is right here. It is roomier. It has two slip pockets on the side and it's got the lipstick holder right here. It has a zippered pocket which separates the two compartments and then it's got another compartment in the back which is smaller and it also has a zipper in the back pocket which here is the card. So here is the authenticity card and this is from the 30 series oh and this one is made in Italy my eyes are not that great but it is made in Italy and I don't know if you can see that but again there's the inside of the bag so this just released this one came in a few days ago actually and uh, today is my first day that I can actually film but I wanted to share as quickly as possible in case you are interested in this color and I think the color is coming up pretty true to real life on the camera so yeah this is this is the latest edition and I gotta say I think that's it for me and Chanel at least for this year because it's a lot. The other thing is I wanted to take advantage before the price increase. Uh, my understanding is in the US, the price increase will take effect on November 1st, which is just a few weeks away. And being that this was a particular bag that I had just tried but really liked, I figured it was a good move to go ahead and pick it up. I will go ahead and um, do some mod shots maybe in another video because I am going to do a what fits in this bag because I've been using my burgundy bag. Let me just show you what it looks like. So here they are side by side. They are both mediums. And this one is fully packed because again, I've been using it for the last couple of days to go to work. And so here they are and they are just, they're stunning bags. Uh, they're both in the caviar leather, which is very nice and exciting. One less thing to worry about. Yes. And let me give you a quick comparison on this color. Just quickly wanted to show you, this is my Chanel 19 in the size small. And as you can see, they're really totally different colors. This one is definitely more of a yellowish type beige. And this one is much of a cooler, cooler tone. So I don't feel at all like I am duplicating. There you go. And I'm also going to compare this one to the GST that I have. This is the color comparison with the GST, and it is pretty close, actually. I'm gonna say it may almost be the same. I have to go look at them in the light. It's kind of hard to do it with the artificial light, but these are very, very close. Uh-oh, I may have a, uh, <laughs> I may have a duplicate color, but uh, yeah. So that's the comparison, my friends, and this is the new addition. Like I said, keep an eye out for the what fits in this bag and how I've been using this bag. Well, not this one, because I just got it, but I've been using the burgundy one for a week straight, and I really, really love it. I'll leave you the information down below in case you're interested, and like I said, watch out for the other video. See you soon, bye.